the next next speaker is Toastmaster Peter A. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Title of his speech: Quit and Succeed. Quit and Succeed by Toastmaster Peter A. Toastmaster, fellow members, guests, let me tell you a story of how I became a law student. Some people look at me now and they think, you know, Peter, he was meant to be a lawyer. He's going to be a great politician one day. But what they don't know is all the different professions I tried before settling on the law. <laughs> so, actually, I was, a, I was going to be a musician most of my life. In elementary school, my favorite class was music. So I like those tiny little stickers they would give us each time we learn a new song. And I'm really proud, I was really confident because my row of stickers was larger than most other students' row of stickers. <laughs> so by the time I got to college at FIU, I decided I'm gonna join the music department. I go over there, I audition, I got it. And I'm real proud and cocky, right? Until I see my class schedule. Apparently, they set me up to become a classically trained saxophone player, and a music compos composer. And I'm thinking, what is this? Like, every time I think of saxophone, I think about Charlie Parker and Blues for Alice, or John Coltrane and Giant Steps, or even Kenny G and Songbird. And I couldn't imagine taking eight to 10 classes a semester for four to five years to graduate and become a classically trained saxophone compositionist. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to say, you know what? Maybe it's time for me to do something else. And while I was transitioning, I learned that if you become a nuclear physicist, <laughs> you can make $150,000 a year. <laughs> so it didn't take me too long to change my major to biology. From <laughs> and I actually learned, you know, I'm thinking I'm a smart guy. You know, I took five sciences in high school in four years. I can do this. She turns out that science is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> At least there's something wrong with college science. I took biology class and I ended up failing it that first semester. And I'm a, I'm a resilient person, I'm Nigerian. <laughs> we don't know how to quit. We don't know how to fail. <laughs> what did I do? I signed up for biology again next semester. <laughs> and I failed it again. <laughs> And this time, I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Maybe it's time for me to do something different. <laughs> so I decided, let me try to become a security business owner like my proud father. And I go to my dad and I ask him, hey, daddy, can you give me an entry level job? He gives me a job in his company, and now I'm a security officer. And one of my posts was so far away out in the Everglades, off of Southwest A Street and 177th Avenue West. And that post was so far away that the supervisors never came to check up on us. <laughs> and that's the wrong thing to do. With the young people. <laughs> so sometimes I, I just get on my cell phone and just call the dispatch. Hey, dispatch, this is Peter. I'm, I'm on a post. And that's it. Sometimes I'm in my room. I forget before I go to sleep. I got to call dispatch. I'm like, hey, dispatch. <laughs> this is Peter. I'm on my post. <laughs> and then I hang up and go to sleep. <laughs> But one time I wasn't so lucky. <laughs> my cousin John was having his 23rd birthday party at the Omega Center, right next to FMU down the street from here. And I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of this new security guard job. I never get to go to any parties. So I decided, you know what? I'm going this time. I go to the, I call dispatch up from outside. I'm like, hey, dispatch, this is Peter, I'm on my post. Right, and I hang up. I go inside, the music is loud. Everybody's dancing, I'm talking to people. All of a sudden, I get a, cell, a call on my cell phone. I don't check the call ID. I answer, I'm like, hello? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, That's trouble. It was my father. <laughs> and I knew I was in trouble when he called me by my Nigerian name. <laughs> in his deep African voice, he said, well, Dr. Bear, where are you? <laughs> And I'm thinking, he obviously hears the music in the background. <laughs> there ain't no point in trying to lie about it. So I said, uh, Daddy, I'm at a party. <laughs> he said, well, don't bother coming back to work. 
I was thinking this to myself, but I didn't say it because he was upset. I'm like, what? Well, what do you mean, only for tonight? <laughs> About a week later, I said, you know what? Maybe this isn't going to work out. Maybe I'll have to do something else. <laughs> you know, this is what I thought kind of sad. Until I picked up the magazine, Business Insider, and I read this article. It was talking about 15 famous people who fell before becoming successful. And in that story, I learned that Oprah Winfrey, when she was 22 years old, she was fired from a TV reporting job because they felt that she was unfit for television. There was uh, Jerry Seinfeld, the comedian. When he was a young comedian, his first time on stage, he was booed off stage by, because he froze up in front of the audience. Now everybody knows he's a very successful comedian now. And even Michael Jordan, when he was in high school, when he was fighting on the story, he didn't make the high school basketball team because he wasn't tall enough, and people thought that because of his height, he wouldn't have the talent to play ball. What a big mistake they made. And there's this quote from Michael Jordan that he says. He says that, I played in almost 9,000 games. Excuse me, let me make sure I get the quote right. So Jordan says, I missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I have lost almost 300 games. On 26 occasions, I was entrusted to take the game-winning shot, and I fell. I fell over and over again, and that's why I succeed. And I know last week I was here, and I was trying to tell everybody, be inspired. You know, this is our new year. Let's take this year and do whatever it takes, whatever it takes to be excellent. <laughs> but today I want to tell you all that sometimes you got no one to quit. <laughs> It's because I failed that I will be successful as a lawyer, because I fell and I keep going. And that's what I want to tell you all today. Sometimes it's what you fail, but you got to keep going. And that's how you can succeed. Mr. Toastmaster.